Daylight Savings starts March 9th at 2 a.m. Why do we have Daylight Savings? I heard they had Daylight Savings so farmers can have more time in the day to grow crops. I'm Jameson Croker. And I'm Christian Thompson. And this is your soccer update. It was crazy. West Mesquite was a place to be last Friday. The varsity boys fought all out as the balls hit back and forth so much you thought you were watching table tennis. Lamar well, Mesa and the defense kept solid. The offense put up the pressure. Neither team let up. It ended 0-0. PK time. Taylor Clark scored a penalty kick and Lamar Mesa blocked one, but unfortunately it wasn't enough. The game ended in a loss of 3-1. to one. The girls played West Mesquite at home last Friday and completely owned in possession. West Mesquite was only allowed two shots on goal. The final score was a win of 3-1 to one with Alexis Gibson scoring all three goals. Three goals scored by one player is also known as a hat trick. And that's all we have for now. Both teams play Terrell tonight. Be sure to check back in next week for the news. I don't know what I'm saying. So we're going to start off saying, I'm swole. Hey CHS, good morning. If you've had any problems finding Pirate Radio, there's a reason for it. But there's a simple solution. Start at the beginning. Direct your browser to www.chspirateradio.com. Any other bookmarks that include the words Loud City are no longer valid. Thanks for listening to Pirate Radio. You may have seen the district website that more pirates are going to state. Jody Przbilski and Kelsey Thomas participated in the Region 3 FCCLA Interior Design Start Event last Friday in Irving. We had to explain our design and, and try to sell it to our client. The pair took second place and will be traveling to Corpus Christi next month. Way to represent the CHS, girls. This message is for parents. Prescription drug abuse. How did that become a problem? Think about it. Most people take prescriptions responsibly and under doctor's care. But prescription drugs are more readily available to young people. Right in the medicine cabinet. Kids as young as 12 are trying prescription drugs to get a buzz. Painkillers, such as Vicodin and Lortab. Depressants, such as Xanax and Valium. Stimulants, such as Ritalin and Adderall. And even over-the-counter medicines are being abused. Prescription drug abuse is obviously dangerous. And when taken with alcohol, the danger dramatically increases. Parents, educate yourself about the various drugs kids are abusing. Communicate with your kids. See what your kids already know and safeguard medications at home and other places. A message from CHS Student Council. Don't forget prom is coming up in less than a month. Tickets are $85 for juniors and seniors, $90 for underclassmen, and $100 for out of district people. Students can purchase tickets and sign up for candy sales with Ms. Stamper in the counselor's office. For each box of candy sold, $20 will be reduced from the individual's prom ticket. <laughs> Whether you agree or disagree, tattoos are only gaining in popularity in our society today. So we went in search of pirates with tattoos. <laughs> so why did you get your tattoo? Uh, me and my sister got the same exact tattoo, so we just wanted it to be a sister tattoo. Lovely. I don't have a tattoo, but I plan on getting one. I don't know what it'll be of, but I mean, I really have a couple of Uh, yeah, it's a cross for my baby brother who passed away. One right here, and one right here. Well, I'm actually going to get this color today, and that will be my favorite one. That's, that's really nice. So, Kaylee, here you're pretty tatted up. Well, actually, I am. That's nice. What does it symbolize? 
well. It symbolizes the people. I'm sorry I had to take a moment there, but when my pet turtle died, I needed a friend. That's so beautiful. <laughs> oh my goodness. So let's see your tattoo. <laughs> Did it hurt? No. Do you like it? Teachers have tattoos? That's weird. I think tattoos are unattractive. I've always wanted a pinup girl, and uh, she's actually wearing the 1947 Cuban flag, because that's the one my grandpa had uh, in his room. So that's really why I got it. The only really downside is having to wear long sleeves every day, though, so, because that it does get a little hot in school. I plan to get a tattoo. Um, one's going to be Roman numerals with uh, my grandma's state that she died, and the other one's going to be Arrow. When I turn 18 in 20 days. It's not a matter of right or wrong. We live in a country where we have the choice. Just remember, keep those tats covered while at school. you to uh Matthew I just Matt Matt Matthew no no Matt I like you Don't worry it's dead Rub my belly. Now stop. Rub it. Stop. Rub my belly. Now stop. What? I don't get it. Congratulations, all Crandall golfers. Girls take first place. Offerman, 2nd place, Henderson, 4th place, Weibel, 6th place, and Duncan, 5th place. Boys Black Team, 4th place. Boys Gold Team, 5th place. Congratulations, golfers. Seniors, the deadline to submit your pictures for the Senior Slideshow is April 18th. Email them to Mr. Struck at jstruck at crandall-isd.net. Need more info? Check out the flyers on Mr. Struck's room or the flyers outside of Ms. Pilgrim's window. Congratulations to Graham Flieger. He took two gold medals at the Skills USA competition held in Waco. Once again, he state bound in extemporaneous speaking. Plus, this year, he qualified in prepared speech. Graham has placed second at state level in extent speaking for the past two years. So wish him luck. To help pay for his state meet expenses, Graham will be selling pirate radio sponsorships. So when he comes to call on your business, be sure to help a good kid win state. Getting close to spring break. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go chill with my friends, bro. Hey, man. That's, you wanna hang out? Uh. 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 Okay. Okay, well, you tell your dog to get better. Okay. I guess this is me and you. I'm gonna go swimming. Oh yeah? Well, I'm gonna break a bunch of rules. Not stopping for you. Rebel life. Oh yeah? Well, I'm gonna climb Mount Everest. Oh yeah? Well, I'm gonna go hunting wolverines with my granddad in Alaska. Beat that. Oh yeah? Well, I'm gonna bungee jump out of a plane. While it's on fire. Spring break! <laughs> what are you doing for spring break? <laughs> what are you gonna do over spring break? I'm gonna go to Austin and uh, with my best friend. We're gonna raise some cane together and it's gonna be a blast. Nice, it's gonna be fun. What are you gonna do over spring break? Uh, 
um, probably have a good time. Sounds about right. Good time. Sounds about right. What are you going to do over spring break, Brad? I'm going to play baseball for the Scouts, probably. That's about it. Well, I'm going to practice taking selfies. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, I got it all you got back. It See, camera. I told you, you I go. needed practice right, there, right, right there. here. Yeah, right there. Oh, wow. Oh, ooh, wow. Look go, at We both got go. big old heads, don't <laughs> we? Ooh, yeah. Nice. That's a nice picture. Send it to me. What are you doing over spring break? I'll be trimming my mustache, number one. That's not good. And number two, I'll be playing, excuse me, I'll be coaching a lot of baseball games. What are you doing over spring break, Hayden? I'm going to Colorado. I'm going to go snowboarding. Have a great time. Buffalo is life. I am going to go to Houston and play with my youngest grandson. Well, uh, I reckon I'm going to fish every day. What are you doing for spring break? Nothing. Get the mustache. Mustache. Mustache.